When you're building a pedal board, one of the most important components to select are your audio cables. But with so many brands, configurations, and sizes, where do you start? <laughs> Never fear, because I'm going to help you. And we're going to get started right now. Hey, hey, it's Scott from Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. Now, before we get started, if this is your first visit to our channel, make sure you take a second and click on that subscribe button down there and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities because we do post daily and we love to hear from you. Throughout this series, I've been taking you step by step through all the components you need to purchase in order to build a really great sounding and looking pedal board. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about cabling. And one of the golden rules, in fact, the golden rule, is just to remember this. You get what you pay for. What I mean by this is if you buy a crap audio cable, you're going to get a crap audio result. So it's really important that you get an audio cable that is going to do the job for you and make sure that you don't lose tone, make sure you don't get a bunch of electrical noise in the line. All those things come into play in this episode. But thankfully, it's not that long of an episode because I'm going to show you some of the best cables that we have. Now, one of the first things to consider is real estate on your pedal board. Uh, it can mean the difference between having five or six pedals on your board just by the cabling that you select. And what I mean by that is if we look below here, we have a Trio Plus and we have a Morningstar next to each other. Now, one kind of cabling you could get would be something that looks like this. Now, this is kind of a no-namer cable. Uh, I'm not going to talk to the audio quality or any of that at all, but just what I'm trying to point out here is the one challenge that a cabling like this is going to have is the fact that it's pretty, uh, it's pretty roomy there on the ends there. So this might not be the most ideal situation in a, in a scenario where I want to save more room on my pedal board because butting those two right up against each other really does create a lot of extra space. I mean, look how much space is between those two pedals right there. Even if I move this down, what the, the one problem that's going to occur here is now I have no access to the control uh, input here on this pedal or, and, and the, uh, the other one I will have access to. But again, it's going to be really tight. So what you might want to do as an alternative would be to use something that looks more like this. Now, this is a flat patch cable. This is the EBS PG-28 or the PG-18, I should say. And the magic of these is the fact that you can just pancake those pedals right up against each other. And there's different sizes, of course. And this is not the only brand that makes flat patch cables like this. But you can see the space saving ability that you have here, the space saving benefit of this. And that in itself can make a really big difference in your pedal board real estate. The next consideration is going to be the type of cabling you buy, whether you buy shielded or unshielded. Now, I'm just going to help you here real quick. So repeat after me. Buy shielded cable. Please do not waste your time with unshielded cabling when it comes to your pedal board. Buy shielded cabling, okay? I'm just making it very simple for you because I want you to get the best possible results and I don't want to BS you on, well, you could save a couple of bucks here or a couple of bucks there. You can still save a couple of bucks here or there with shielded cabling and you could get much better results than some of the other garbage that's out there. Shielded cabling provides three major benefits. Reduces electromagnetic radiation, reduces electrical noise, and it prevents RF interference. So now let's look at some of my favorite audio cabling that we sell here at The Pedal Guy, starting with EBS. One of my most popular pedal board patch cables are the EBS cables. I sell tons of these things through all of the different series. What we're looking at right now is we're looking at the PCF Deluxe series, where we're carrying them 10, 18, 28, and 58 centimeters. The PCF Deluxe has a copper core and two layers of insulation. It has polyethylene insulation and it has an outer PVC insulation. It also has two levels of shielding, a conductive PVC shielding and a spiral copper shielding. And all this adds up to a really great solution that's also very cost effective. Next up is the Premium Gold series from EBS. Now this is the step up from the PCF Deluxe. And in this case, it again comes in the same four sizes as before, but as you can see, these are gold tipped. Now that means that you have less opportunity for corrosion on your connections. Now, uh, people might want to argue the merits between 
uh, chrome tipped versus uh, gold tip when it comes to audio quality. Uh, frankly and honestly, I don't know if you're gonna actually hear a difference, but the real big difference here in this case is that these will not corrode. So that's one of the best things about working with gold tipped uh, audio cables. So let me tell you a little bit about these. Now, like the PCF Deluxe, this also has two levels of insulation and two levels of shielding. The main difference here is that the spiral copper shielding is a little thicker than the one you find on the PCF Deluxe. Aside from that, it comes down to simply having a gold tip versus a chrome tip. Now, one of the other brands that we also carry here at the Pedal Guy are the Rockboard cables. And just like the EBS cables, you've got three levels of quality. You've got your good, your better, and your best. Now, the thing about the Rockboard cables is that there are a lot more sizes that are available. You even have them down to five centimeters each. So if I was to actually take all the ones that we have and put them out on the table here, we would have no room on the camera. So I'm just showing one of each of the different series that are available. Um, so starting with the RBO series here, this is the standard series and it contains basically all of the same features that you'll find with the PCF series and in some cases could be a little more cost effective uh, depending on which size you purchase. Now the gold series is basically the same as the EBS gold series. What makes this different is that it does have an additional layer of foiled shielding inside of it. Um, but one of the other things I think it's really cool about a lot of the rockboard cables is that they're, it's not all just angled flat patch cables. You can get angled and straight angled on the same cable, um, which can lead to some very good uh, patchwork, especially if you're working with like say modular synthesizers and a pedal board, this can come in handy in a really big way. Or if you're going off to like your mixing board or something like that. And of course the last one here is the Sapphire series. Now, like the high performance series, it's got all of the same features pretty much. It does have that additional uh, foil uh, shielding on it. But as you can also see, it's got the same issue that the high performance cable had, which is it's not very bendable. But we have this in several different sizes and configurations. These are obviously a bit more expensive than the, the, um, the gold series and the standard series, but still it's worth the investment. Now, the last type of audio cable that I want to show you that we carry here at the Pedal Guy is the Patchwork series from Rockboard. And this is innovative unto itself because this enables you to have varying lengths of cable, but it also gives you a solderless solution that will not only give you a straight edge, but it will also give you an angled edge. Or if you happen to change your mind the next day, you can go right back to straight edge. So it's that kind of innovation that really sets this apart from the others. Now, wouldn't you know it, as soon as I started talking about the Patchworth cables, we ran out of them. Um, but I happen to have uh, the connections here because we do sell the connections by themselves. The cabling itself is essentially the same cabling you find with the flat patch cables from Rockboard. But the cool thing about this is that it comes with a little Allen key here. And you can have a straight edge. But if you say, well, actually, I need an angled edge. Well, that's really easy to do. You just take the little screw out here um, inside the uh, jack flop it over, turn it, screw it back in, and now you've got a right angle. And then the next day, of course, if you get up on the other side of the bed and see now I need to go back to straight angle, you can do it at will either way. And that's one of the things about it that's really cool. Not only can you make the exact length that you want, but you can make it the exact angle that you want as well. All right, well, that wraps up this episode of Building Your Pedal Board. Hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great one. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.